now I uh, got already so much knowledge about this MK Ultra that um, I can really be a teacher about it and there is a whole lot I can do uh, to take away that nasty smile of the faces of people that believe they're gonna get away with it in absolutely any way. This is what I have posted on Thursday, July 25th, 2024. Uh, in 2002, French delivered to Slovenia anti-cancer medications, which were tested in me at Novomest General Hospital in Ljubljana, is UKC University Hospital. It's how they refer to that, and then I give you an idea about adamantinoma. Uh, let me clarify this issue here, so that. Somebody would not even think, now I am the one who is going to say to you, even think about think. Let me, let me explain to you something about what exactly, who exactly you are dealing with here in this case. Everything I have stated here on this page is 100% legitimate it's correct without even single 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 mistake I have made and I know it sounds crazy I know in this stuff you're gonna see in the video below I'm gonna put the video below I'm gonna put you another video below it was done so effectively is related to this issue here you're gonna see why. I'm gonna put this below this link here, but below the video, I'm video recording it right now. I'm gonna put you a proof about why this stuff is connected and in what way this is connected. This stuff was done so, this stuff I have made was done with a, such a precision, the two, one I have posted on July the 25th, 2024. And another one I have posted on July the 23rd, 2024. It's done with a, such a precision that I decided I'm going to do state-of-the-art video. You know, what exactly when it comes to MKUltra is a state-of-the-art video? Maybe on two occasions. Maybe on two occasions I was told by the police you know, I'm getting so much information every day about things. It's, it's more and more information that enters through the memory about what went on. It's, it's incredible. Uh, maybe on two occasions, maybe three occasions in my life. I am 53 almost. In December the 9, I'm going to be 53 years old, you know. And uh, today I visited my father with mom. Go you know, there every day. And they reminded me of the church of the um, Sveta Anna, you know, St. Anne Church. It's where we still used to live here in the city, Tardino Vashteri. This house here was from the grandfather house and all these neighbors around here, the neighbors right here across the street, you know, the people here that have their children, um, that was the school right there, the grammar school. They. Um, uh, the environment, the environment. One thing, I decide I'm going to do this video because it's going to be a state-of-the-art video that's going to make you understand more about MKUltra than 
you know, the only one that could tell you about this stuff is a professional psychiatrist involved in MK Ultra or police investigators, police, the way this stuff is done, or politicians, what I'm going to do. So this is like, if you want to know about what mind control, how it operates, how it works, this is a very, very difficult stuff to prove because of certain issues. And I'm going to do, break down this stuff today into a nanomillimeter. And for that matter, I'm going to go back 50 years back in time when I was drugged up, when I was two years old. And my parents would make me compete. Insane stuff, man. Insane shit. Um, they would have me compete with the kids here. My sister, my mom. We would go through here and... Let me see if I can make it through. Can we make it through here? Yeah, we can make it. Yeah. And here we go. Yeah, you made it, you know. When it all started, the way it all started, Norwegians told me one time that there is no difference between MK Ultra and when you are really, 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 really young, like one year old or two year old. I am here to testify you it's a big fucking difference. It's enormous difference. I mean MK Ultra and the way it's in real world doesn't feel anywhere even near as the same. It's like totally, totally different thing. I mean, there's no way you could fool me on the issue of reality and MK Ultra, even when I was age two years old or one year old. I don't think you could. I don't think if you wanted to fuck me at age one, you could fuck me and say no, it was MK Ultra, this and that. They tried. They tried. Trust me, they tried. And the truth is, they did not succeed. It. The facts are they did not succeed. It. And based on my, the way I feel about this stuff, you could never fuck me. You could never get me around. This is actually a really science movie I'm doing. This is really for the top scientists. And one thing, the first lesson I'm going to say to you, there is no way... If the human is normal, there is no way that you can fool that m human being into either of the state to make him believe that it happened either on, under MK Ultra or in real world, you cannot do it. Even if the child is one year of age. I don't know about six months of age. I don't know about that. And I think even when you are six months of age, I don't think you can fool the child. I don't think so. You would be surprised how much the child is aware about his surroundings, his world, his things, the way he see what he worries about. Um, in my case, I deem this is shocking. And I did not know what intelligent quotient is. I did not know about what IQ is because of the circumstances I grew up in. You, I was not allowed to know, to understand any of it. But I can tell you that... Um, and I don't think I'm any different. You know, I don't think I'm any different. But I don't know. I was just... very very extremely 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 present i think i was far more present than any children than i know of at the same age i would not want to brag about this stuff uh, i had no clue but i was a s extremely extremely strong child in a in a human brain in a human mind sense when I think today now and compare this to the people that I would meet then through the childhood in the school, in the grammar school and I was growing up and man, I think when I was one or two years old I was just as aware 
about what goes on around me as the kids are at the university or at the kids are at the high school. I am not bragging around. I'm not talking garbage. As I go through this movie, you you might actually even start to believe this stuff. Um, they were making all kinds of tests, including awareness about things. And I was really, really, really best at also giving the impression that I am sleepy, tired. Um, the ladies that would be involved in this stuff, I remember the ladies and their children that would be involved in this stuff, and they talk, our child is this and that, our child is this and that, and I listened to the stuff they talked about, and it always felt fucking boring, because the stuff they talked about, it made me feel like, wow, um, and I bet it was the same with my parents. It's like, really, I mean, you already made it to this stage when I was already in a completely different stage. Uh, this is what my child was like. They compared the children mentally and physically, how, where, when, this and that. And so it all started like this with the fitness, making me walk. How far you can walk? That was my sister, my mom, and uh, they played with me. They 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 play with me, and who's gonna walk and what's gonna walk and this and that. And then once you learn the walk, it was all about how far you can walk. You know how far you gonna made it. It's our house right there behind the trees. And first it was up to here and this and then oh he made it up to here. You know. Then it was, he made it up to here, wow, oh, wow, you know, and uh, it was with the sister, you know, wow, he made it up to fucking here, you know, and my sister came home rather scared, uh, and mama asked her, where were you, you know, how far did he made it, you know, and with my sister, I, I was already, uh, we already passed all this shit here, uh, going into completely new world here. There's a new apartment, other apartments here, in <laughs> quite distant away from our house. And I don't know. I walked by myself here with the sister when I was. I have no idea. This is what my sister knows the best. Maybe two years old. And the scary part about this was. So what actually scared the sister is that I was not tired. Uh, I, uh, my sister was sure that I was tired and she was checking with her friend. She had this meta also. And the thing is that uh, I was becoming more and more and more resistant. And the thing is I never felt tired. And the thing is that I could just fucking go. I mean, as far as you want, you know? Um, that stuff was not MK Ultra. Stuff I'm talking about right now was just uh, the way it was, you know? Um, not MK Ultra. In the age, my age, I am talking about, um, might have been between a year and a half and two years, something like this. And then a father started to fuck with this MK Ultra, and he was rough. He was really, really rough. From the beginning, he was more gentle, and then he was becoming more rougher and rougher and rougher, and greedy, ambitious, more and more and more ambitious. And he, he was with the mom, and they started to do this stuff with the MK Ultra. And it was be they would measure this and that, and uh, with them from the beginning and all this, I did not even perform as good as I, I was with my sister. I don't know. At first, they were scared to to practice this stuff with me, probably. Uh, but they soon realized that uh, this walking shit did not have much impact on me. And I don't know, probably about the same age, the same shit. 
I crossed already this hill. It's called the Ragoska. This hill. And the one who was doing this shit to me was my father. He was merciless with this stuff. It's quite a steep hill, actually. I made this maybe one year before other children would do. Are you talking about early childhood, like the strongest children? And as I go back here in this valley here, and I would listen children, uh, actually not children, but their parents. Oh, our child already made it. Uh, yeah, our child Orly also made it to Ragoska here and so on. And uh, when I hear that kind of stuff, I don't know, maybe it was one child that even uh, also made it. Once they hear about me already going past this, they also made it up to here. Yeah, and it was like a big stonk. And stuff I was doing, it was done under MK Ultra. And it went further, it went down here and then it went right across here. There's an old path here that's gone. And it would go through there and it would go here. I don't know if I'm gonna see this through here. Yeah, I will definitely not. So I'm gonna do it like this. And this is what today they, they reminded me of this stuff. Mother and father did. Then this would go all through here, all through here. And eventually there is this farm right here. This used to be from, from the Graben here. This is called Grad Graben, Castle Graben. But then this farmer got this through Renault and he this here used to be um, a church here and today the parents talked about Sveta Anna church I think it was something like that and I actually I think it was down this way here like that as he goes and uh, when I was really, really a child, and it was my father, the one who, you know, eventually a few years later, we purchased the land here. So already the stuff I'm talking to you about, you know, this is the direction basically where we were going. They went to exercise. It's very, ne very near here, isn't it? I mean, very, very close, you know. Uh, but if I go back in time, when I was three years old, I probably made it here. Maybe even younger, I don't know. And here and there, sometimes I would come with the father, whenever father would be present. He was the one who was pushing, and my mom didn't like that stuff. Um, still, we were with sister. Sister was quite merciless. Father was totally merciless. He was ambitious, more than ambitious, he was greedy. Uh, he even stated that one day I'm going to thank him and this and that. Uh, he was not, a, definitely was not at the right state of mind. And um, in my personal opinion, when I consider all this, um, this guy was also in a trouble because of me, because of what went on in the Belgrade, what they were doing with me in the Belgrade, and they had no good intentions for me. And he did not know entirely about this trouble. He was in trouble with the law because of what he was doing, I think. I think that people paying attention not everybody approved this stuff I think it was people that deeply deeply disapproved this um, and so he found himself in a world he need he had to push this he became a hostage of his own circumstances somehow 
And those people in Belgrade, they would not give up on me. They were crazy about me. Yosip Brostito and stuff. Shit that went on in Moscow and Belgrade. The political lunacy. It was totally out of control. And so for my father, as much as I suggested that he was he said one day I was grateful to him and this and that what I can also tell you is that the words of the real lunatic um, he addressed to me he said to me I still don't know what to do with you I will decide what to do with you once you enter the school a grammar school what he meant by I will decide what to do with you is I will either kill you uh, or um, keep you. So this is not, these are not the words of the normal parent. These are the words of the lunatic. And he was doing his, what he deemed was uh, brain evaluation, IQ evaluation, and uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what kind of evaluation. He was... Uh, expert when it comes to um, psychology and uh, uh, psychiatry at fucking nothing. This was uh, cretin, idiotin, ignorant, dangerous scumbag that should have been thrown in prison. He dared to uh, undermine, he dared to insult, he had no respect don't think because somebody is a child that is two, three, four years old, five years, that you can just say anything to him. Because he will remember this stuff. And at one point in time, if you're going to be nasty to him, uh, he will know that you are a fuck. He will know this, that you are a fuck, that you are nobody. He will know that you are trash. Don't ever lie to your child because your child... If you're going to say to your child that he's sleepy, crazy, that he is this and that, and this child is going to be eventually stronger than others, and is going to be more aware about others, and you're saying this stuff to him, doing nasty stuff to him just because he's not reacting violently, you're causing him a great injustice. You're causing him a tremendous injustice. And my father didn't spare me of that kind of injustice. He, he was always in his own way like this since I was child um, he was deserved really for nothing in my life he really I would love to give him a credit but this was a dumb fuck to put it this way now, the worst example possible that you can come across and the truth is that when he said that he still doesn't know what to do with me it was like this they did kill kids. They, the kids did go to the, to the schools for the, for the kids with the special needs. Uh, they did go to the graveyards. The kids did disappear. For real, they did. They didn't escape anywhere. They really died. And they really end up inside of the homes. And it was all kinds of stuff. Disgusting stuff that went on. So I guess as a children, children were not worth anything in, in the so-called Yugoslavia. In a greater Serbian Chetnik state, they were worth nothing. The thing is, my life was not worth that Maybe the, the lives of kids were worth more in the independent Slovenia. But independent Slovenia, as it became independent in 91, didn't convince me about any of that either. I, I sure was not a child anymore, but um, a thing became even more disgusting when they continued with their intentions from the childhood. The police officers trusted me. They stated to me maybe three times in life, maybe, that I was lucky enough that they told me I didn't profit anything from within. I said lucky. That's stupid. Because three times you tell somebody you don't make any kind of difference. And they were all under the oath. They were not allowed to tell anything about uh, about uh, 
you know, I asked them, I, I was like, what, what the fuck are you taking me here? And you're taking me there and meeting these people and doing this and make me do this and make me that. Why are you doing this kind of stuff to me? And they told me, we're looking for the proofs. <laughs> and I was like, you're looking for the proofs. Okay, like what kind of proofs? I mean, are you looking for? What kind of proofs are you looking for? And they actually took time maybe twice in my life. Now, they said they use this word that they are looking for the proofs. Maybe three, four times, but it was maybe twice they took time to signal me that the proofs would be of mental illness. Of mental illness. They don't give you any kind of clues. They don't tell you anything. They don't explain you anything. They just give you a clue like exactly the one I gave you. And then it's up to you what you understand and what you don't understand. And it's up to you. I think... Uh, probably the psychiatrist, if he would do the stuff that was done to me, the psychiatrist, psychologist, they would understand better because of the certain material that they study that requires them to have certain understanding about the state of mind, how it works, and what to look for to identify and deal with it. Um, but in my case, I was... Uh, I was always paying attention to, to so many issues when observing the children, when dealing myself with the issues, with all kinds of issues that I encountered, that I was always looking for the reason, even what made me feel that way. I became my own psychiatrist, I became my own psychologist at the very early stage, so. And observing other children in this kind of chaotic environment and dealing with all kinds of violence issues, uh, questioning myself about certain issues about my life or even how to make myself one easier, more efficient, more, um, you know, whatever, productive uh, and finally understand what exactly the consequences of certain issues uh, it did give me a much deeper understanding about the human mind. And so, I was going to say, maybe even the psychiatrist would not understand better. Uh, I, I became like naturally developed individual with a sense for, you know, internal issues that you have to look for, deal with to avoid the worst. Uh, unfortunately, however, that the violence was so intense, there was so much of it, was so much of it, that through adulthood, through the, from the childhood to adulthood, uh, I was more concerned about how the fuck to escape this madness. Uh, and this is how I found myself in another part of the world, in the United States of America. First it was to Austria, and then to the United States of America. Rather, I should say, than to deal with it face to face, combat. I did, but the problem was that the more I dealt with this shit, the more problems I had. Like, the problems were fucking coming my way unlimited. Like, I already finished the fucking Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union. But where the fuck are you going to run now when they became friends with the British royals, with the Germans, with Americans and so on, and this torture, bestiality, this MK Ultra, uh, became like a fucking... Uh, I don't know how to say that, it really sounds good in French. Uh, games without the borders. You know? Form of bloody entertainment uh, 
what do you do with this shit? I mean, this is where the problem is because, you know, you grew up somehow, you got you some education, and now it's that next stage. You got to you gotta get yourself a job and stuff and married and, and you know, car, house and stuff. And um, there was no way to escape this shit. It was no way to escape this shit, and uh, whatever was there, I was not willing to trade for the psychiatric hospital, which I knew that it was also promised an accident that once you talk about MK Ultra, you go to the psychiatric hospital. So, one way or the other, there was no way to escape. The more I tried to escape this shit, uh, the more this shit was coming close to me. This is so insane, this stuff. This shit is actually unbelievable that I did this stuff. I already end up fighting political asylums in other fucking countries. Run into other states in the US to escape the shit. There was no escape. There was no escape. At, at, and at one point in time, it's the boogeyman that comes and you meet your worst fears. You're thrown into the psychiatric hospital like I was, <clears throat> 40 years old, after 39 years of torture, um, dumped into the psychiatric hospital. Uh, you wouldn't believe that something worse can come, but it does. In this, in, when it comes to MK Ultra, they're always looking for something worse, and for worse, and for worse, and for worse. Do you understand the meaning of these words? <laughs> Life is the fucking nightmare. You want the state of the art video about this shit. This is the way it's done. Life is based on a total fucking nightmare. So when it comes to Charles and all these people, please, I wouldn't talk about any, some kind of friends because this goes beyond lunacy. Was always looking for friends. Did like certain things. Try to be friend with these people. Try to be nice with these people. The thing is, these people are beasts, and there's no, there's no way to come anywhere close to them, unless you want everything you manage to secure, ensure, uh, established that you have established the dump in a garbage can. You can, you can buy the friends like this temporary but it's the kind of friends they're gonna fucking run you over like you never existed it's a scum so this is what life is all about life is always about the lowest point that your life can reach in this world there is no lower point than the point of MK Ultra. You can be poor, you can be whatever the fuck, you can have a brain cancer or skin or whatever, fucking cancer or whatever, and you're a survivor of something, you knew what you were dealing with. When it comes to MK Ultra, it's exactly what I told you. It's all based on a nightmare. It always goes deeper. As you thought that you found the bottom, just wait, because the next bottom is right around the corner, through the more traumas, through the more problems, through the fucking worst you possibly could imagine can happen, it will realize itself. Because it's like, it is, it's the writers that write the scenarios. So now I give you an idea a little bit about MK Ultra, what, how MK Ultra is and so on. I don't know, my father, just to give him something good out of it, my father was probably uh, horrified with this stuff and was becoming more and more aware of uh, this political madness and uh, probably he wished that I was not in this world when this shit started to go with his politicians, with his beasts uh, that must have not been pleasant for him honestly it wouldn't be pleasant for anybody really not so um Yeah, I think he did have the desire to get rid of me. Um, 
Easy come, easy go, fucky, fucky, fuck. This is the people that I think back then were everywhere. I think the society was flooded with this kind of attitude. Um, weaklings. Uh, I think you could find them anywhere. In any level of life, in any profession, in any social standing. I think it was flooded. I think it was the shit society that was just um, looking for the easy ways out. And, you know, the benefits, basically. There was no society that would... You know, actually, I think it depended on individual. It all depended on individual. I think that my mom and my father, you know, they, they cared about me and this and that, you know, in their own way, in their own world, you know. They dress me and take care of me and, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, breastfeed me and give me the food that I wanted, the fish and stuff, you know. Uh, nourish me, you know, take me out for a walk and stuff like this. They definitely did, you know. But this madness, this this world, materialistic world that surrounded everybody and everything. There was all kinds of stuff from the TV that came out, cars and mopeds and stuff like this. You know, moped, wow, man, bicycle was a great thing. You know, but the car you're talking about, and then even the fucking TV and stuff. This is the time when I was growing up, you know. The computers that were the most revolutionary thing didn't even actually make any kind of difference. Um, so, but this video, this video is, I'm doing this kind of entry um, because eventually we're going to move into this category here, into this French issue in this kind of stuff here. Uh, we, we eventually going to move into this stuff here. This is this is really a state of the art. Uh, some, however, became encouraged with it, thinking that, hey, well, it's impossible. Something like this is impossible. Uh, one of the people who got encouraged with something like this, uh, for instance, was a Marine Le Pen. I'm going to explain the issue behind the girl who was involved in my case, since I was a child. Marine Le Pen was a very beautiful girl, actually. Uh, her father, uh, Jean-Marine Le Pen, I think, whatever, uh, that was like my major French partner. This was like, almost like my French father, her father. Yes, yes, I remember a lot, a lot. Uh, he really knew how to treat the children. He was good with the children and he was very protective toward me. And uh, he had this Marine Le Pen, uh, older than myself, uh, cute French girls, uh, next to whom I kind of grew up whenever I was delivered to France. And this issue here, maybe the Slovenian government even have forgotten about that stuff. But this stuff I have mentioned, this stuff went on during Yugoslavia. In a little bit I'm going to explain to you about this stuff. I'm going to go more into details about this stuff. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep the situation because I, am, I, am, I feel betrayed and angry. Really, really angry about it. And you would be too. Um, first of all, if you remember when I said to you about the police, you know, saying to me maybe <laughs> for entire um, 47 years of this MK Ultra, that you tell somebody that you're looking for the proofs three times. You know, and you don't even explain to him the issues behind that kind of stuff. Uh, and you're actually even abusing this kind of issues. So, I suggested you, looking for the proofs means paranoia. And 
what you, as a child you don't even understand. It's called the schizophrenia. That you see things that don't exist and that kind of stuff. Um, looking for the proofs, which in another, it's a big fucking problem when you tell somebody under my circumstances such a issue. Um, you 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 confuse him even more about this stuff. Like for instance, uh, do you remember when I posted here? Uh, about the the skin cancer and what I would do is you know I I just uh, I just concern so myself so with this issue here cancer. and I suggest it's a skin cancer it's like this is my left hand really really honestly this shit is and bizarre I mean if you would be if you would be dealing with somebody, oh, I have a skin cancer, sir. Uh, that person would be complaining to you about uh, a much bigger problem. Probably would not come to you with something Just like this, in right? Size over the past few hours. But this is extremely, extremely important for me. This is this is this is this is that's why I stated this is a state of the art video. I could point you out here my back what it looks like. It doesn't look good. Uh, there is much 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 bigger stuff here that I could talk about. I already have talked to you about this. This is very bad. Um, it's that kind of stuff I could go, but. I did that stuff already. I did pose one time in front of the mirror and stuff, and I'm not going to go and do that stuff all the time. And so I could have done something like that. And with most of physicians, dermatologists, I would make definitely much, much, much better review. I would be, I would sound like more uh, credible, let's say. But the thing about it is. You remember when I mentioned earlier proofs? We are looking for the proofs. It's a very difficult video to make. Very difficult video to make, and it's a state of the art video. State of the art video is when you have a capacity as a victim of MK Ultra to point out a super, 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 super unlikely proofs, but it's a proofs. These are big issues. I could point out other issues I have, and I would gain more credibility. But these issues, if I would point you out, they would be less uh, related to what I suggested proofs. Therefore, to the paranoia and to the schizophrenia, they have labeled me in 2012. But this is what this is. If you tell somebody that you're looking for the proofs on him in the way I explained to you you're obviously gesturing him we are fucking around with you boy and what we are doing is we are driving you crazy so that you can come with some statements which they will based on which you will be labeled as insane and that's how we get rid of you am I correct? of course I am correct of course I'm correct. The problem, however, is that it gets even deeper. In my case, this thing's got even deeper. In a little bit, I'm going to explain to you. The problem with that stuff is, however, that the victim you're saying this to will disregard all other fucking issues you're doing to one. You can be actually drilling one with a with a drill into the kidneys or liver and that person under MK Ultra is not going to take you seriously because he's traumatized he knows what the fuck you're doing but he must not allow himself or herself to believe that the shit you're doing 
will actually have a negative impact on him, even for the fuck of it, even if he says that you're that he's bleeding or that she's bleeding. Because uh, it needs to preserve sanity. If you start to think about their poisoning you, they're causing your lymphoma and stuff and cancer and all kinds of issues, tumors. Please admit, any one of you will go fucking insane. You will go crazy. You will want to fucking jump out of your skin. And according to this to me, uh, this is what you don't want to do. Um, yeah, you know, anything is better than to do something like that. Since if you do something like that, and I don't know, maybe it's because of the reading material. I, I would read a lot of books when I was young. And uh, in some of these books that I read about, uh, it, it, was, it was also a lot about people jumping off the bridges and committing themselves to crazy acts. Uh, I felt that when the people, the writers that were talking about this stuff, and uh, I watched on the children also, on others. Um, out of one error they did, they would go and they would do something else. Um, which might not have been necessary and eventually would even end up in a fucking tragedy that otherwise would not. Um, do something to somebody and out of scare, panic, you know, first react on something that you shouldn't and then do something else to escape, avoid or whatever and hurting yourself or hurting somebody else without any stuff like necessary and so on. Uh, I managed to watch kids and read this stuff and try to understand what is it that makes people do this kind of decision, the decision making. Um, made permanent decision that will never act in a way like this and will always even for the cost of life um, unless there would be a viable viable solution to it avoid any kind of really what even my father could not handle sometimes. You're completely crazy and had obviously what obviously were a panic attacks. Maybe they were scaring him too. Maybe he was subjected to MK Ultra. Other people told me during MK Ultra that he was. Uh, but he would have a terrible panic attacks. And these panic attacks would lead from one catastrophe to another and thanks God the worst catastrophe is were avoided. I think I got a lot to do with it because I learned based on a human mind to not fuck with people that are uh, out of their mind. I think this is why I had so many lives. They told me always you have more than than nine lives. You have more than cat. Uh, they were they got me into the crazy situations and with the drug dealers and with the uh, all kinds of stupid stuff, political stuff, anywhere from Chechnya, anywhere from Bosnia, anywhere from Serbia, anywhere from Croatia, anywhere from insane, including Ukraine, situation where there was war, in, in Africa, in South America, in Iran, and in China, and you name it, and in the USA too, Russia, and so on and so forth, that I kind of felt that uh, you know, I have to pay attention to the certain issues that went on with the people because it could be easily the critical, you know, shit that would boil in their heads and uncontrollably they can fuck you up. You know, nobody, nobody stop that shit when you are around people yourself and you're, you have no control over yourself, you're drugged up and stuff and you fucking sit in front of the people, deal with the people like this. 
um, it's going to be too late before they reach to you or wherever you know it might be uh, you won't get to leave that long you know I think I was a, such a bastard that they threw me into this kind of situations sometimes even I think deliberately you know to see the bastard is going to survive this one or that one or whatever no, this is the way it was. And so, when you tell somebody, when you give somebody instructions that she's just looking for the proof, you are downplaying him in a very, very, very strange sense. Um, you're not taking the defense down. Um, maybe even 50% of the people do lower the, their defense completely down and they melt down into whatever they want to melt them into uh, but i did i was good at giving the impression that you know whatever uh but the thing about it is it was not like this i was paying attention to maybe one of the deadliest qualities that i have was always uh, not giving the feedback to already as a baby I would not give the feedback on the provocations about that was like kind of a, oh yeah okay whatever you know when they tried to and it became evident to me that that it, they were evaluating me as a baby when I was two three years old that they tried to provocate me in front of the kids they were teaching me all kinds of tricks uh, and seeing basically how I'm going to react. It was these neighbors that they were doing this kind of stuff and um, I could hear them, you know, saying, ah, I already got that child, you know, and he acted like this and that and so on. And so I pay attention to the adults, what they talked about, what they were saying. And I kind of figure out that there's some kind of trickery in between that I try for every this shit when you come to this world you try to understand you know what what the fuck are they doing to you what are they gonna try to do to you now, by the way I'm, I'm doing this stuff like this I have the shirt like this so that this black shirt would not go on my skin and this is what I was advised by the police in, investigators to actually get myself something and pin myself shirts like this so the shirt underneath it is an older shirt already washed color washed would stay on this on the surface up and the the fresh one the new shirt that i'm using on top of the old shirt wash out shirt already that would not touch my skin directly they will have to confess about that stuff don't worry about it that stuff is all 100 percent legitimate so I kind of realize about this trickery about this shit that, that they always try to trick you they always try to evaluate it and subject of all kinds of it was teachers that had their kids um, and you know they, they didn't relax in afternoons and, you know very very intensive environment this environment that I grew up my goodness, say they were busy, these moms and dads. Uh, and, you know, they, they, this was very, very highly recommended. And, you know, so it's possible that my, my father was told that my father and his friends, not my father, but his friends always told me, when you grow up, you will be grateful to us you will be grateful for it and they had this kind of they talk about and i fuck my son and uh, then he did this and then he learned not to do this or to that but it was always about this stuff his friends always brought this stuff i fucked my son so they were doing bad stuff to their kids and i had to listen with my own ears uh, in front of the father 
how he was collecting the tips about shit they did to their kids, it, it became evident to me that there's going to be nothing good out of that for me, man. Um, yeah, father was uh, 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 and it made him feel good about the stuff he shouldn't have done. You know, is yeah okay. Yeah, I got nothing to worry. Yeah, this is this is the way. You know, this is the way it is. This is the way it is. It was a strange bunch. It was a strange times, crazy shitty times. I was growing up. The crazy fucking attitude the people have here. Not, not normal attitude. <laughs> uh, no surprise when I was eleven years old, I was treated the same like adults indifferent from 20 or 30 years old uh, it was just a normal thing of course everything is normal till the accident happens and sometimes even if accident happens it's like oh well <laughs> you know uh, pretty much attitude I will never understand pretty much attitude I still get when I go visit father basically the way it started is the way it goes toward the end of it, the whole thing. And so, I am, to prove this case, will not be searching for a big spots, uh, for which, by the way, they claimed me they had American dermatologists here also. And, uh, so supposedly, they examined me everything and uh, uh, claimed me, oh no, this is not a skin cancer. This looks like you have a, um, um, how did they call that stuff? It's like they claim, they claimed uh, it's a, uh, 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 believe it's a uh, uh, mold like like uh, moldy um, I don't even know how you would say this in English uh, Uh, not uh, really a rash or something like that, but um, yeah, in a way rashy, but um, uh, toxic mold, yeah, it's toxic, isn't it, man? Um, mold spores and this and that, yeah, it's a trouble, isn't it? Woman slowly poisoned. Um, shit. I didn't even pay attention to this kind of stuff. Gleevichno uh, Bulliania Kosha. Something, you know, in that sense. You know, something in that sense. Yeah, yeah. Something in that sense. I don't know how you say that. in that sense, you know. Um, <laughs> there are many, many different issues with this kind of stuff. To me, however, this still more looks like a skin cancer than anything else, I'm gonna say. Uh, they were assuring me that this is not it, uh, a skin cancer, uh, and they were really, they really went to distance, maybe, maybe, Maybe they went to the distance, um, but you know, uh, this is where I come at, and I'm gonna say to you, the police investigator told me, he said to me like this, he said to me, it's probably what you see right there on the skin, let me see that again. A fungi, you know, a fungi, fungi skin, fungi skin problem, uh, something like this. 
uh, in that sense, you know, uh, rear, neck, back in that sense. Yeah, there you go. Fungal infection, fungal infection. This is this, 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 this kind of stuff they told me it's this thing here. I don't think this is what it is. I don't think this is what it is because it's, in my opinion, uh, it's different. Uh, it, it goes, in my opinion, very, very much into the category of, of uh, symptoms that goes to the, to the skin cancer, like sometimes gets bigger, smaller, and there is another stuff like I described. It made me feel when I was regularly showering that I don't actually even have the fucking skin. It, it hurt it. You know what I mean? I think it goes very, very much into the skin cancer category. And the ability that I developed to survive this kind of shit. Um, I think it goes into the category of issues they didn't want to admit. Uh, they were using exactly this issue here. I presented you, I pointed you out with to doubt me, a physician, the, American time. physician that examined this stuff here, uh, stated to me that if, um, what is this thing here? Uh, see me a little bit, just for a second. This appeared, uh, where was it? Somewhere here like this. like something like this something like that you know um, somewhere here like this you know and finally it looked like this after the stuff that was there it disappeared and then it looked like this like a burning you know and then it just disappeared like completely you know, um, but here is a state of the art video that we're gonna do, right? So this is a state of the art, not to waste the time. The physician, now listen to me, this stuff here, how I know it's cancer. There is a thin line in everything, right? But I know it's a cancer because of description, and I know it's a cancer because American physician stated to me well he stated to me and then if it appears and disappears just as it did like this kind of stuff that i demonstrated you it appeared he examined and saw it disappeared and again then again it appeared out of nowhere at the same spot and again it disappeared and this is how i was lucky that again it appeared and then it is skin cancer he said but he said I would not use one as a proof because it's going to be very difficult to prove. But I am using one as a proof because of what I mentioned to you earlier was we are looking for a proofs. A proofs. There is a very... I was told... I was always tutored, brainwashed throughout my life. There is a fine line between the lunacy and between the sanity. <laughs> yes, uh, in, in Russia, in, uh, under the Stalin or under the Josip Brostito, it was. Uh, if they said that you are insane, by the way, lock him up or take him away, you were insane, right? Uh, if you were not insane, they did the shit on you that you came back insane. Uh, this is the way they are still doing in Slovenia. They try to do with me. Um, and so what I do is I push the limits of this bullshit to the last limit. Because I feel that just giving something like this, you know, like I stated, is just not enough in my case. I think that I have gone through so many things that I can do so much more and basically fuck them in a such a way the way they wanted to do with me, basically, in, a, in, in exactly the way they did it with me, to, to do worse to them if I do it like this, with a, such a state-of-the-art video pointing out, like, let's say, 
in the in the case of the skin problem i'm gonna say to you well uh, now director of the police his name is Jurcic here at the Novomesto police station. This motherfucker had the whole map of uh, cancerous marks on my body in his notebook, on his personal notebook. He will be answering questions during interrogation about what I stated right now because he was the one who stated to me, well, for this one here, he said, don't even bother with it. So watching my videos as I would go to the to the to the internet and talk about this particular spot of the cancer uh, he would acknowledge this is a paranoia as a schizophrenia as something that is not provable well by the way it's already proved investigator who met me in 2022 when I came to the police station so I wanted the assistance with my father is medical files uh, from General Hospital Novomess so I could bring my father home. Uh, he was the one uh, also who was crazy about this issue. He was the one who insisted on my getting this issue implanted. We get to this part. This guy told me, when you're washing your clothing and stuff, because you do all the hand washing, always make sure that your hands only get up to here, but not here. He said to me, we implanted you this here, this cancer here, this spot cancer, so that you would not go deeper inside of the you know, this is how you know that you're not fucking crazy. Not how you know that you're not fucking crazy. But, you know, these are proofs, actually. These are the questions you're going to have to answer. And there is many others, by the way, in respect to this stuff. Um, I know they have everything logged about what went on. But I'm really good at that stuff. So, Only, only so much, only so much you can go inside, you can dip your hands, but not higher than that. This is all in respect to one spot. Now, I like that spot because it's that fine line between being insane and being actually very, very sane. That's the line I like the best. Uh, like a while ago, I posted the uh, also a video and a post, a beautiful one also. I like that one. This is the kind of stuff I'm going to use. The stuff that is more not likely. What a strange motherfucker I am. Usually people look for the easy way out. Because they're scared. Because they won't get out as fast as possible. And I did too. But they make things difficult for me. And now what I do is... I'm, I'm always now looking for the stuff that is more unlikely, but is 100% legitimate. Why do I do this stuff also? To prove just what a awkward motherfuckers are in London, in the Buckingham Palace, in the Windsor Palace. What a crazy motherfuckers they are. What kind of stuff they do to the people so they can prove that the people are insane. Actually, how far they are committed to go with the torture to portray individual, to make the individual to portray himself as insane. I'm doing this, in other words, out of anger. I'm taking extra to fuck you extra. That's what I'm trying to say. You see, I get my satisfaction from what was done to me by pointing out, by literally depicting, by literally demonstrating, by literally doing a total demo of their brain map, why they do the stuff like this to people, how far they are willing to go, and who are the people that actually go and do the stuff like this. I'm sure you heard about Nigerian scam, I'm sure you heard about Asian carbs, I'm sure you have heard about all kinds of uh, species and animals that are invasion and all kinds of scams and 
uh, all kinds of stuff. But you would not believe that the biggest fucks in this world are right at uh, the top of the throne. When the prime ministers, ministers, presidents, you would not believe that very likely, do you? That the biggest scammers that you could possibly meet, people that are totally willing to commit themselves to crime, are right at the top of the government. And that's exactly why. Or are employed at a police station, your local police station. That's exactly why the fuck I'm doing. They were looking for the proofs. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how far they have gone to get these proofs. Today, uh, just to remind you, we're talking about this issue here again, bone cancer, bone cancer, French, at the Novo Mesto Hospital, Ljubljana, Ukatse. We're looking for this kind of stuff. And also what French alone, British uh, already alone, uh, supplied me with. So that, yeah, that I would not go further with it, but this is the kind of stuff I'm going to be all using to to do exactly what I stated, so you understand why the fuck I'm doing this. So this is the way it looked. I took the microscope in the hands, and what the hell that looked like under the microscope? Let's see that. Hey, it looked like this. There you go. That's what it looked like. You see, like, you see this shit here? It's all gone. It appeared like first after this stuff was gone, like it was like a little burning and then it disappeared. But if I do crazy stuff uh, and I was doing a lot of washing of a new fabric and I even went ahead and after I cut the grass on a really hot summer day for a few days in the row, I would go and proceed and drink beer, non-alcoholic, non-alcoholic, zero alcohol beer. And that shit just simply had as an outcome it boosted the skin cancer issues. Okay? So, this is the type of stuff, the unlikely of the kind of stuff is what we are looking for. This is the progress. Let me demonstrate you what it looked like when I saw it again. It was like this. Uh, I don't know, we say krasta in Slovenian. Krasta is just something that is like a blood, like on a, on a surface, but it was not exactly then blood. Then it started to dry itself. Yeah, it started it to dry. Like... It almost looked like a kind of shingle, you know what I mean? And then it simply disappeared. It's not really a shingle. It's not that kind of stuff. This stuff comes back. Now let me explain to you how the fuck this came on my body. To me, it appeared like and it's about to go. It's gone, this thing here. Yeah, it actually just have fallen away. It's gone, this. But based on the experience from five years ago, seven years ago, ten years ago, I remember this spot because of interacting with a specialist, with the skin specialists from Slovenia, from United States, from other countries that were interested in seeing this kind of shit. Well, let me explain to you how the hell this stuff came on my body. This stuff came on my body just as I already have pointed out. F implant. Yeah, it was implanted on me. According to the police investigators, they implanted one in me. Now, that's the interesting stuff. Why the fuck would they implant this on me? Well, based on uh, Prince Andrew and Prince Charles' recommendations, uh, they would be necessary to do bad stuff to me so that I could prove the case uh, that uh, there was stuff that uh, they have done to me. This is how they boosted, uh, actually even obtained from me personally, uh, so that you can get money and you're going to be wealthy. And so now what we do is we do all kinds of stuff like this uh, that uh, you can point it out, you can identify and you will get rich. These were the early explanations for all kinds of nasty stuff they were doing to me. And I should say explanations for the really nasty stuff that was done to me, which, however, made nasty stuff look like more tolerable 
from my position, from my point of view. Now, why the fuck they were really doing this kind of stuff? Uh, George Bush was more honest about it. Uh, when I pointed out this stuff here, uh, by the way, my cousin, my cousin uh, died in 2010 from uh, a skin cancer. He had a skin cancer and uh, his name was Mladen Pejovic. And uh, related to this guy Vujovic playing at the NBA. And uh, um, yeah, he um, supposedly, that's what I was told, uh, died. Uh, in 2010 from the skin cancer. Uh, he had skin cancer, but according to American physicians who did expedit his uh, uh, jaw, uh, posmrtne ostanke žaro, uh, he was cremated uh, back to Slovenia. Uh, they told me that uh, they would find him alive therefore in a USA uh, or supply me with the proofs that he is still alive only if I would be nice to the Pejovic to the Vujovic Pejovic family that's basically my cousin uh, a female cousin uh, his sister Ksenia they got married married with another guy uh, Vujovic and they live in the USA, uh, their son played the NBA. Um, okay, a little bit, yeah. Uh, so, I'm just I'm saying this just for. Did you get idea about who exactly you're dealing with? What kind of stuff this is? So, let's go back to this issue here. Um, the same thing happened here, and I did mention here George Bush, George Bush, George Bushko, this one here, Bushy. I he doesn't like, I understand, Mike calling him Bushy. Uh, but here's the thing the 9 11 took place. And this is the real reason why they were doing this stuff. 9-11 took place and George Bush did not like about my involvement into this stuff. He did not like my knowing all about what went on in the background of the politics. So he got French for the business and he used Milan Kuchan to present me the issue of bone cancer implant in my body uh, as uh, something that must be done on me due to numerous American minorities, that's again blacks, uh, Black Lives Matters, uh, and make them look like a big bad wolf that was hunting me all the time uh, after me and uh, they just simply uh, facing enormous backlash in the US for the 9-11 uh, and my being involved in it, my being dangerous uh, it was necessary according to Milan Kuchan because I'm a native Slovenian to just go and do something insane and that would be a punishment for my being involved in this state affairs uh, siding with the George Bush uh, I had to be experimented on bone cancer uh, with a cancer drugs with a real cancer and that's where they started to without absolutely 100% what exactly was when it comes to cancer what exactly they were practicing on me I have no fucking idea. I know that my body hurt as hell. They had uh, anywhere from, they were also changing me blood. They were doing all kinds of stuff on me uh, and using a cancerous anti-cancer drugs 
uh, after they claimed me uh, they have implanted me right after 9-11 I was brought to Slovenia I was brought to this hospital here in the city of the Novo Mesto which I already found this is the old hospital at the Novo Mesto and that's where they would start to treat me for the cancer at these two departments here one was at the general hospital here this was the old hospital is where they would deliver me and it was a fucking lunacy here I mean the terror that I can tell you the security officer that was there that they looked at me when I appeared with a Milan Kuchan with a Tanya Fayon and so on when they woke me up there uh, this is a fucking horror uh, first it was for the implant and supposedly it was a bone implant and the second thing I don't know if it was a bone implant this is what they claimed uh, and the second thing uh, the hospital here in the back of the city of the Novo Mesa and then it was at the UKC in Ljubljana um, there is one thing about this stuff that, that makes that's more important for me to completely to describe this procedure this was done in parts first it was infestation of the cancer into me uh, what the fuck they were doing with me I do not know but they they did some kind of infestation of the cancer in me they infested me with the cancer supposedly it was even with a bone cancer and then it was after this incubation of the cancer in me they started with the treatment of the cancer and for the treatment of the cancer they were doing this shit to the transfusion changing me blood, giving me the medications and uh, practically making sure that the cancer would not have absolutely any place to hide itself and this after I was totally diagnosed with a cancer I had to stay inside of the hospital for uh, <clears throat> I don't know uh, maybe like two weeks, something like this then they would get me out of the hospital and uh, they would continue to monitor uh, these issues something like this, two, three weeks that I spent in the hospital so do you now understand why they were doing this kind of stuff? why the fuck they would be doing this kind of stuff? yes, that's exactly why they would be doing exactly why I am 100% also they have done this kind of stuff I don't, I don't have doubts that they were playing with, with anti-cancer uh, stuff I, as much as incredible it sounds even maybe insane they would do this kind of stuff and even because of what I earlier stated to you they might have done that so they could look for the proofs and so on I actually believe they have done this kind of stuff this was done uh, by the Chirac Chirac was a nice person who enjoyed, tremendously enjoyed terror he was insane uh, Francois Hollande did not like Jacques Chirac but Francois Hollande to get the job he had to do whatever Jacques Chirac demanded from him and Jacques Chirac according to the Jacques Chirac who is by the way 100% alive a whole good number of these criminals filed for the death certificates with this individual had a very very every fucking reason to disappear of stage uh, he was preceded he was preceded by uh, Francois Mitterrand uh, this is a Francois Mitterrand was my great 
ally. This was this was a big big uh, friend of mine, Francois Mitterrand. Uh, until Francois Mitterrand fuck me, and uh, Francois Mitterrand fuck me right after it was time for him to disappear of the stage. This is usually they are really really good at that. With his wife, Francois Mitterrand would be meeting me also in Moscow. He was my major ally, but he made a big, big mistake for which he knew I will never, ever forgive him. Francois Mitterrand, you can see him, he is posing at the Wikipedia. Made a very, very similar face to... Uh, Galatz I remember when I wrote on my blog about Ivan Galatz Well, you know, uh, the thing about all this stuff is, is uh, uh, let me let me explain about this stuff. I might not, not see him right now. Uh, oh, uh, he is here. He is here. Ivan Galatz. When you start to fuck with me, uh, present yourself as an ally, as a friend, and uh, you demand from me to see in you somebody that is doing nasty stuff to me, you are no longer my ally. He demanded for me to see the same facial characteristics in him as in Ivan Galatz and or uh, Nurse Yanko. So this French guy, President Francois Mitterrand, demanded from the people for whom he knew that they tortured me, they were involved in torture, to see him as a part of the club and did so literally through the DNA. Uh, he pointed me that he's got same facial characteristics as he has and would be... That's how he demanded for me, for me to see him during MK Ultra. And you know how fucked up this stuff is? The, now you're learning about MK Ultra. Uh, Nurse Yanko, uh, I did him I did post it. Also, more or less, this type of uh, DNA. There you go. Uh, and when you present yourself to somebody as a as a friend and uh, you start to fuck with this person like this your little pedo French Frenchy pedo why do you expect that person will see you uh, anymore as a friend because you think you own him because you think you are his owner you think you are a terrorist big enough that he's gonna bend down in front of you and you little Lucifer French Satan believe that he will have no strength to raise against your Satanism basically that's why you do this this is Francois Mitterrand this Lucifer here 
and Chirac. Jacques Chirac was the one who went on to avenge this motherfucker even more against me. You see it? He thought that Jacques Chirac was sure that this French swine have fallen victim to me knowing he knew Jacques Chirac knew that this was a swine here yeah he knew that he was a swine but uh, the French I guess this is the way they operate and so he went ahead and he retaliated his French swine by literally implanting cancer in me playing with the cancer and, you know, even if it was not the cancer that was implanted in my bones back then, for which this individual here claimed that not only this individual, but also individual who replaced him, which was, uh, well, I'm going to get this guy here. Francois Hollande, this guy here, this was the guy that if you go to the Wikipedia, and he will, again, through the Wikipedia, he is posing with his black picture like this. He told me it will be a picture like this to remind you that you have a bone cancer implanted in you through the exactly same issue as to which applied uh, to... Uh, to the skin cancer issue through those kind of issues they also insisted me they implant me the skin cancer uh, if you will not go and do the surgery for that kind of stuff uh, that stuff will trigger itself in your body and you will die well for that stuff uh, George Bush did have a good reason to do to me George Bush, however, went on and proceeded with other also cancer implants, he claimed. Uh, uh, but it was, you see, you see, folks, we're just going to make like a little, little, little EPP, Economsko Propagandni uh, Program, commercial, I'm going to say. Let's stop here with this lunacy. So you see how fine is the line between sane and insane? Now, considering this kind of circumstances, you tell me now, who is fucking insane and who is fucking insane? I lost 53 years in process. And so what is it rather that makes you sane? Well, sane is when you are a president of America. When you're a president, you have a fucking medal here, you're sane. Right? And what is the insane? Well, the insane is when you are not born with a royal title, when you are just born into a chaos like this, into a genocide, basically. That's what makes you insane in this world. That's what we, basically, that's how we, that's, that's what we are based upon. As I said, I told you in the beginning, it's going to be a state-of-the-art video. Even if they wouldn't do this kind of stuff to me, like Marine Le Pen, Marine Le Pen came to me in the house, and there was a Marine Le Pen, a Marine Le Pen. Ah, Marine, oh, oh shit, look at that, she is giving the picture, oh my god, oh la la. I, uh, can testify you that my internet service provider did not acknowledge my browsing anything about Marine Le Pen. Uh, well, she is uh, three years older than myself. There you go. August 5, 1968. It is December 1971. December 9. Hey, look at that. Um, with the grandparents, uh, Jean Le Pen, uh, children. Jean Le Pen, this was the major uh, sailor, this was a major, major, this is like a French father of mine, this guy here. 
Uh, wait a minute. What the fuck? Jean Marine Le Pen, born in 1928. Uh, no. No, 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 there you go. There you go. There you go. Jean Marie Le Pen. Nin, 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 nin. Um, so she stated to me like this, she told me. Ah. And now now we have even 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 uh, Marine Le Pen. Now she scared the shit out of me. She really, really scared me. She was the one who came in our house and I would really, really, really slap her on her butt for that. She stated to me, if you will say this. She came to me because they negotiated which political fraction is going to gain and this and that. The whole program. And she broke it. She broke it down that uh, this guy was involved in Mount Everest of torture, by the way. She broke it down, the whole program that what this guy had done with you and the other guy had done with you and the other guy had done with you she said to me you know what she said to me in front of my parents in front of the police it will be all schizophrenia 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 she was really really rough in our house it was sometimes in exactly 2015 2016 uh, Mademoiselle, uh, uh, where are you? I walked our garden with the father, uh, eat some peaches, uh, how fantastic, uh, beautiful here. She likes to travel, get her in the car, uh, close the car and then just basically take her anywhere across the European continent and treat her and she will be all happy. Uh, but who doesn't like that, right? Um, yeah, you know, Paris, I mean, it doesn't hurt to escape the concrete jungle. I understand all that stuff, but how the fuck did she treat me without a completely any kind of respect? Um, if you're going to say this, it's going to be a schizophrenia. If you're going to say that, it's going to be a schizophrenia. If you're going to do this, it's going to be schizophrenia. It's going to be this, it's going to be schizophrenia. It's going to be that, it's going to be schizophrenia. Uh, not very honest lady. Uh, and for the proof, I'm going to tell you, once we left the place here, when we were on the less sunny side of the Alps, she told me, well, she said, Neve, I told him this, uh, but you know, I will help you out, and so on and so forth, you know. And uh, the French told me, no, 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 no way, Marine Le Pen will help you, and this and that, and so on, you know. So the thing is, I don't need any kind of help, you know. <laughs> that, that smile is a little bit nervous watching this video right now and you have exactly zero schizophrenia you only have a program for the scientists to acknowledge is very interesting in my opinion in factual um what exactly have they done with me they have done with me exactly what i stated do I actually have implanted uh, implants done on me, such as bone cancer? Uh, uh, the thing is that I would love to believe I do not. You know, I would love to believe that I don't, that I don't have them. Uh, this was a very interesting issue with Marine Le Pen, because they were pushing the cancer for the hell of her. Even if there will be a cancer, they went on and they started to insist me, even if there will be a cancer, the physicians would declare that there is no cancer and stuff like this. It was a, quite a lunacy they played. And then they demanded from me to go dead, to also file that certificate 
using people who filed for the debt certificates like today I read about this guy here um, another fake debt certificate that belongs to this Swiss guy um, from um, And the one who was the one who was stealing the organs on Kosovo, ha, uh, you can trust me. It's not only in Kosovo. It's the Serbs. They did it big time, and they're still doing it. They are doing it in Russia today. Russians are doing it with Ukrainians. Uh, Dick Marty. This. Here, this guy was the one who insisted me just file that certificate and then get a bunch of others. And I was like, why? Why would they do this? You don't understand how dangerous it is and more than dangerous it is. Wherever you go in the hospital, they go after you and they demand from you to, uh, from the physicians, they, they interfere with the physicians, with the lives of the physicians and so on, and they don't help you and so on. So they were using the health issues they created to literally demand from me, extort from me, demand from me to file even for the fake death certificate, like a bunch of other fuck-ups involved in this so-called MKUltra case. You know what kind of lunacy this is? This is a Mount Everest of the fucker shit, this so-called MKUltra, which, however, it seems like it doesn't touch the people that are at the top of the pyramid of this scam. This is a super scam. This is a scam on the steroids. It's a crime of the century, of the millennium. <laughs> it's the biggest one of them all ever pulled in the history of the world. So, with my stating whatever I stated, I am also going to refer you to the video below for which the French and Croatians were warning me about not to talk about Mostar, not to talk about Nevesinia, uh, and concern myself rather being useful for them than causing them a trouble. And for that matter, believe it or not, look what kind of video they have made. What the fuck? I mean, uh, they switched me these two posts here. That's why I told you at the beginning of the video that, that the stuff I have done is... I, I know they don't like it, but on the other hand, I'm going to say thank you to the French for doing the confusion like they did with the video you're going to see below this video I'm going to post for you. We're going to call that part number two. This was the post that they totally, totally, totally mistaken deliberately. They switched the videos. And then they went ahead and they also switched the videos this here to remind me that they sold uh, fighter jets to the Croatians, uh, this uh, desert, uh, what is it, Miss Mirage desert, huh? Croatia Air Force, and behind which French started to also death threaten me. Uh, yeah. uh, French started to suggest me that if I will not keep my mouth shut in respect to the bone cancer, cancer play on my body, the experimentations they were doing here in Slovenia with the Slovenian, all the torture that went on through the hospitals in France, I, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I guess I should have been quiet in respect to the psychiatric hospital Cadillac in France. That is a really terrible mistake I have made. Uh, what they will do is they will, instead of helping Croatians, they will go and they will help Serbs. And my goodness, uh, this this salt, this salt planes they have sold to the French. I can already somehow see that at the same time they are planning 
You see, they acquired 12 Rafale fighter, Rafale fighters, uh, fighter jets, Croatians did. I, I, I see that there are going to be already Serbia Air Force purchase. Uh, they're going to be also buying a 12 Rafale French fighter jets. So maybe, I don't know, just uh, might be... Uh, Maybe French works more with the Serbs than with the Croatians. I don't know. Uh, but you're not going to fucking scare me. You're not going to intimidate me. Don't even think about it. You're going to be blackmailing me. And remember one thing. I am also an American citizen since the year 2000. And that will put you definitely to place. Uh, even if you are from Paris. Or from London, or from whatever fucking place, or from New York, or Washington, or whatever. Thanks for watching this video. Now, I hope that uh, you did enjoy this video. And yeah, it's like I told you at the beginning of this video. It's going to be a state-of-the-art video. It's a fine line, they told me. It's a very fine line between... Uh, it, they had all kinds of issues going on, genius and uh, completely crazy. And uh, but in Yugoslavia and in Soviet Union, it used to be really like this. It was like take him away, uh, or just take him away, uh, knock him up, and uh, they didn't have to worry about the rest of it. Nobody, definitely nobody, dared to say anything. Then the people. If they didn't kill them, they did definitely return them back just for a visit uh, for their relatives to make sure to make sure that they see with their own eyes that the person really is insane. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.